Hello, I'm Phil Svitek, 360 Creative Coach, and in this episode, I want to pose to you a challenge, okay? And it's a challenge that helps, uh, especially right now in 2020, get us out of our own sort of echo chamber, if you will. And before I get into it, I would encourage you to subscribe if you haven't already. That way you get all the various lessons and episodes that I put out right when I put them out. Thank you if you just subscribed. I truly appreciate it. So what do I mean by this? Um, well, let me just say what I would like you to do, right? And that's to, to create what I'm just going to term, it's not the proper term, but an admiration post for someone. And essentially, I'm, I'm asking you to practice gratitude. You know, I think 2020 can feel very lonesome to a lot of us. I think 2020 is isolating and things like that. Uh, it's there, there's a lot of negativity in online, in uh, Twitter, and so forth. And so, what I would encourage you to do is to reach out to someone in your life, um, and essentially write things that you appreciate about them. Because it forces you to get out of your own head, right? Get out of your own echo chamber, as I said. And it forces you to think about the good qualities of somebody else. Um, you know, I think when, when we start to focus on the good in life, um, it has tremendous effect, right? It changes our mood and so forth. And, and I think that's especially needed today more than ever. And so I would encourage you to do that. Plus... It, it certainly feels nice when someone does that uh, for someone else, right? They're, they're kind of perhaps thrown off guard, especially when they're not anticipating it. And, you know, it brightens their day as well. And the good side of this is that then it creates an experience. And what I mean by this is then all of a sudden they might tell somebody in their life of like, hey, you know what, this was really cool. Um, you know, this happened to me today. Um, one of my friends, they... You know, they wrote me this sweet thing, they posted about it, and it was really cool to be reminded of that. And, you know, then it's kind of like a domino effect. You know, I'm not saying it's going to, like, uh, spread throughout the world in terms of its goodness, but, but if, if, if you can kind of, you know, in effect, brighten at least, let's say, four people's lives, you know, one being the first person, and then, the, you know, that person telling another person, that person telling another person... Then it's like, you know, for that brief moment in time, at least, you have brightened up the day of a few people. And I think that's important now, more than ever, you know. And I think we all need to be reminded that there are good people in the world. And furthermore, I think, you know, when you write this, just as a quick tip for specificity, spe I, can't, I don't know why I can't say that word, but you know what I mean. Um, specificity, try to write you know, what you, you know, be as specific as you can, you know, go into as many details as you can, because the interesting part about all of us, I believe, at least, is that um, we tend to have a very skewed memory of something. So, for example, in a, you know, a lot of us, perhaps, um, you know, there's that old cliche that our high school years were crap, you know, and what's interesting that you kind of find with the benefit of time once you talk to people that were in your high school is that they have a different viewpoint of you. So, for example, for my own life, you know, I, I could say, like, I didn't necessarily belong to any one particular clique, if you want to call them that. Um, and I wasn't necessarily the most popular kid. But, you know, in hindsight, when you talk to various people, I did have an impact on people because I was like the filmmaker kid and I was always making movies. And I managed to kind of rope in, uh, and not, not, not rope in, that's something to sound negative, but people really wanted to be part of, you know, the various things that I was creating because they, they just were, um, pardon the term, especially in 2020, but infected by my passion for it. You know, they were drawn to it of like, oh, you know, I, I, he's making some cool stuff. So I want to be a part of it. I want, I want to, you know, see how the sauce is made, maybe in some sense, whatever the case may be. And so the, the point of the story is that, you know, we tend to focus on sort of a one-track version of, of our past, right? Um, generally negative, I would say. I think we, you know, I think to a degree we can all agree on that. Not always, but, but you know, the majority of, of stuff, I think. I don't know. Um, at least for me, that's how it was. And, 
And by doing an admiration post in this way, you can help offer an alternative um, perspective to that because, again, you know, both things can be true. You know, a person might have not had the most friends necessarily, let's say, or whatever, but at the same time, there were good moments as, as well. And so it kind of helps balance the full truth, if, I, if you want to kind of term it in that way. And so there's just a lot of benefit to an admiration post that I would encourage you to really explore and, and you know, see some meaning in. And, and um, it'll, it'll help you gain more gratitude and, and just kind of take, your, take um, your thoughts away from your own problems, at least momentarily, and help brighten someone's day. And I think that's it's really powerful in today's day and age. So I challenge you to do that for someone that means a lot in your life. Um, post it on social media. If you don't want to post it on social media, then, you know, instead write a personal email or note, whatever the case may be. Um, I like social media because, you know, it, it has a greater effect to reach other people as well and, and kind of encourage them that way. At least that's my hope. Um, but that's okay if, you know, you want to keep it a little bit more private and personal and write them uh, an email or a letter instead. Anyway, that's the challenge. I hope you do take it. I know it sometimes can seem like we never have enough time to do anything, but I would encourage you to spend 10 minutes and I think you'll come up with something really, really impactful. Um, I appreciate you if you have any questions or um, furthermore, if uh, you do do it and I would love to know what your experience with it is like. So please share in the comment section or hit me up on social media. I would certainly appreciate it at Phil Svitek. And um, if you think this episode might benefit someone in your life, by all means, please share it with them. I certainly would appreciate it. And I appreciate you. Hope to see you next time.